And we're back for part five. Let's uh, check our stats very quick. Um, 1,400 more experience left. Oh no, 377 more experience left. Okay. I just wasn't sure um, how much I needed left. So, we're gonna skip right, we're gonna get right to it right now. And talk to this guy. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Dun dun dun. All right, the Titanic ant. All right, first thing you want to do. Um, and you see those two antoids in the back. Yeah, they can keep calling reinforcements and really, really be a yeah become an annoyance. Easy for me to say. So we're gonna do it right here. Shield was protected by the shield of light. Alright, so now we're gonna try out Yep. 84 damage, 65 damage, and 83 damage. Alright. So now we can go ahead and bash the Titanic Ant. He doesn't suffer that much damage. But you can see he can do quite a bit to us. Now you see that's a lot of ouch. Okay, um let's try to use up a hamburger. Oh ouch. Good thing I went for the hamburger. Let's see. Yeah, this one I'm gonna need a life up uh next. Shields disappear. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's try recover life up. All right, and life up. Thank God it actually restores our health all the way back up. Magnet drained. Oh, great! Drain, drain my power points. That ain't fair. And I get a little bit of defense down. Yeah, that's really fair. Fighting, 23 damage. So you get one more shot in. Ooh, smash! And he's down! Now, you can make the argument that a critical hit saved me. It really did. Now I'm level 10. Offense went by 2, HP went by 3, and PP went by 3. Realize the power of healing. Now, I'm not really sure what that means, per se. But, I guess, for all I know, it is a um, defensive technique, I suppose. And, oh boy, what's happening here? Baron caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Baron Soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. Alright, so I guess that's it. Now we're just going to make our way back down. I'm just going to use the Soundstone for a second. Baron touched the Soundstone to his forehead, gathered his thoughts. And this is where it looks like when you use the uh, soundstone right here. So you pretty much know what it sounds like to you. Alrighty. So now I want to go back all the way down. I think we got like an automatic win here. Oh no, not quite. Here's your chance for a surprise opening attack. And that's it, pretty much. They won, we get 74 experience, and this one left a cookie. Not that we needed it, but whatever. Let's check out our stats for a second. Need 341 more to go. And we're already like level 10. 
I'm guessing healing is like a. I'm not sure. If, oh, automatic win. I'm guessing healing is a um, AOE heal, or is it like a stronger version of a heal? I don't know. And we get the rowdy mouse, and I think we should be able to two shot it. Yep. All right, we won again. 34 EXP. Oh yeah, because oh, because you know what it is too. When you are a stronger enemy, I'm sorry. When you're stronger than the enemy, they start to run away from you, and this gives you pretty much every chance you have for a first strike. So we go, we kill the Rowdy Mouse again. Another 34 EXP. Okay. Not that we really need to, but we'll just use a cookie anyways. Just because. Why not? Yay. And this is why, you know, automatic wins are so key in this one. Because you can actually, um... What you call it? Because you can actually uh, get free experience, pretty much. Like a free win. It's always a good thing to, you know, get. And really, I'm just doing this so I can just grind. Because grinding becomes really good. Okay, let's go back to goods. Let's use up another cookie. <coughs> God, I'm sorry. My cough is just isn't really my favorite thing. Was it another automatic win? This just makes grinding that much more useful. I'm sorry. Yeah, it really does. All right, so uh, funny there was a butterfly down here earlier. Whoa, what's this cop doing here? What does he want from us? Guess we'll have to find out when we exit the cave, I guess. Alright, we're gonna get another sh um, another go at the black antoid. And down goes both of them. I guess you can say. 74 experience. Level 11. Offense went up by 2. Gus went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. HP up by 1. PP by 3. So yeah, you can pretty much just do this all day if you wanted to. It'd be no surprise how well it, how well this system actually works. Just grind, 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 pretty much. Let's take a look. Yeah, 980 experience left. Yeah, you can s spend hours on end if you wanted to. But that will get repetitive later, of course, because you should not get enough EXP. Look, they start to run away from you. And wow, look at that. 47 damage. You can probably just one-shot these guys. Easy. It almost comes to the point where it's pretty ridiculous, to be honest with you. Okay, another 6 HP. And look at the mouse is actually running away from us. I think we should get an automatic win. Yep. Automatic win right there. Yeah, they, they already know how strong you really are. So there's almost no point in, um, you know, actually doing the engagement if they just gotta continue to run away. But that's just basically show you how it is when you're pretty powerful. Level 11 is pretty strong. Hey, you. The board says, do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Uh, yes. So you just didn't want to read the sign, huh, kid? Get your butt in the owner police station later. So now we have to actually go to the police station. That's pretty weird, because then I wish we got the uh 
Who are you talking to? Oh, I wait. Uh huh, uh huh. The big footprint is called the Giant Step. What a way cool name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want any of this. Yeah, these guys don't want any of this. No way. Hey, what's this kid? Do? What's this kid want? Actually, let's talk to him. Baron, I'm doing watch up for duty, Hado. Can you take over? No. You're busy, I understand. Oh yeah, this was the same place where we got the uh, Mr. Baseball cap. Alright. Wasn't sure what was up. So now we have to go to the police station. Alright, so there's a drugstore. Where is the police station? It's around here somewhere, I know that. Oh, I know where it is. I, I think I know where it is. That's the hospital. There's a little pizza shop right there. <clears throat> There's the bakery. There's the police station. Okay, so we have to go inside here. See, I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Who wouldn't be? So here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah blah blah. Blah blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. Blah blah blah. Blah. It's usually the, the local wires that make a big deal with the emergency and the media rides. Blah blah blah. <laughs> oh my god. That is, that is hilarious. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you so sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes, okay. <coughs> Follow me. Oh, man, playing Nintendo games. <laughs> so now we have to follow this guy. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Oh, we have to take on five officers? What is this? Yeah, small fur, you be shaking your boots. What is this? And ouch! Wow! This guy really hurts. Wow, yeah, this is just like... Like, what the hell here? Why is it they hit so hard? 38 damage. Turn back to normal. <laughs> I like that he turns back to normal. That's pretty funny. Where's a hamburger? Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, you better believe I'll be using a hamburger. You're tough. You should join the police force. Uh, no thanks, buddy. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Okay, so you're better than Bruce Wayne or Peter Parker or Clark Kent? Really? Ouch. Let's try to use up the hamburger. Alright, um... Let's use a life up here, actually, to be honest. Oh, it just missed? Okay. Yeah, I needed to get that life up in. Okay. 29 damage. Another 38. Alright, we got double turn on at least. We won again. Alright. A6 experience. Alright. Oh, you won. Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring on, fat boy. I'm not fat. I'm not even big boned. Who do I look like to you, Cartman from South Park? My God, how insulting! Okay, so we won again. Another 86 experience. Let's do this again sometime. Next time I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. Oh, like I said, dude, I don't just, I don't swing that way. I don't know about you. 
Let's use a life up here. Okay. So, thank god we actually got plenty of life ups that we can actually save ourselves for. And we are pretty decently level at this point, too, so... Yeah, it shouldn't be that bad. You just gotta keep yourself healed up. He left a hamburger. Grr, I lost. Alright, last one. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call... Going to call for my boss. <laughs> okay. There's no way I can beat you in a strength competition, so... Get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtra Martial Arts. Okay. Captain Strong. Okay. I'm gonna use up a hamburger for a second. It's on guard. Came out swinging. Just missed. Okay, so he's pretty good at dodging. Grapple and uses submission hold. Ooh, ouch! Gave him another life up here. Lost his temper. Offense went up by one. It's on guard. Okay, when he when it says he's on guard, that means he takes less damage. At least that's what I'm looking at right now. Oh my god, quick missing. Dodgy attack. When when you're hurt halfway, you want to use life up. Because you don't know when you're going to go down. 14 damage again. Alright, so as long as he keeps saying he's on guard, then he doesn't do anything to you. 32 damage. Think we got him. Ouch! And we got him. Wow, another close call here. Damn. 492 experience. Ah, uh, there was no level up? I didn't think you would do well against the mighty on it police force. You want me to open the road to toss Tucson? Hang for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give him the word. Beep. Click. Click. Strong here. Do you read me? Hey. It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A kid named Baron will be here in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, okay. I'm not going to question you now. But I do want to see you again. Good luck. Well, gee, thanks. You put me through that rigid gauntlet series. Hey, I'm in here. Go and find another can. Ha, I was just joking. <laughs> That's interesting. Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop. Even if I don't look like it. Okay, you're just an undercover cop? This is a jail. You guys have no business here. Okay. Now we gotta talk to this. Why are you asking about a driver's license? You're way too young to even think about getting behind the wheel, you little pest. Let's see what happens when we talk to this guy. I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a tough time. Oh, you need help, buddy? Yeah, I'm on the same boat as you are. There's plenty of people you can talk to if you case you need help on uh, Earthbound. Um, Efraid, Zara being some of those people that pretty much know Earthbound. I know way better than I do. This is a bit of a semi-blind uh, playthrough, after all. So you gotta get the nostalgic first-time feel, you know? But before we do set up to, 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 to Sun Town, we're gonna go back to the house and rest up. And we're also going to phone our dad. Because we do want to uh, keep in touch with him. Because I guess from what I've heard, um, I, think, I guess you just get homesick, I suppose. Hey, E.T., how you doing, old boy? I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. You stubborn mutts. Alright, so that was a very exciting video. We get to actually fight the police. Baron? Baron? Ooh, dream sequence. Baron, I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Ziffy. Can you hear me calling you? I am Ziffy. Whoa, Stefani was calling me? Since when? In my, in my dream? Well, 
We have heard from Bar Molly that uh, Ziffy is indeed in Tucson. Question is, what will happen once we meet her over there? All right, we're going to call Dad for a second. Pick up the receiver. We'll call him Dad. Baron, to Dad, I deposit seven fifty-eight dollars in your bank account. Taking away what you spend, you should have now have ten forty in the bank. Go to XP and get to the next level. Baron is two. <laughs> really? Two more experience? Oh, that is laughable. We're going to record. All done. Your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure at this point. Good night and sleep tight. Baron, you like to work hard, just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. Alright, so we just saved the game. And I think it's a good time to stop it here. See you for part six.